active mothers need to be keeping an eye on that biological clock, a new report in the Journal of the American Medical Association says wannabe dads need to be as well. Dr. John LaPook begins a two-part series we're calling TikTok. The biological clock has always been portrayed in pop culture as a woman's problem. But mounting research shows the clock is ticking for men too, whether they choose to hear it or not. You have a decline in hormones, a decline in fertility as women age, and an increased chance of genetic abnormalities to the babies born from older women. Well, surprise, that's exactly what happens to men. In fact, a man's fertility begins to decline in his 30s, then steadily drops through his 40s and 50s. A woman is born with all the eggs she will ever have. But a man produces 100 million sperm each day through cell division. The more often a cell divides, the more likely a glitch will occur as genes are copied. With billions of sperm cells dividing over a man's lifetime, that's a lot of opportunity for error. We've known about a lot of problems for aging fathers, but it turns out the most common ones will be those related to behavioral disorders. So schizophrenia, and now autism, mental retardation, and some cases of Alzheimer's disease have all been linked to late paternal age. You don't plan to have children later in life. It just works out that way. Daddy! John. Jim Kachko was 42 when his first child, John, was born. <laughs> At age three, John was diagnosed John. with autism. Can you draw a circle with a D? The children of 40-year-old fathers may have double the chance of schizophrenia compared to babies born to dads in their early 20s. The occurrence of autism is about five times greater for children of fathers in their 40s than fathers younger than 30. If I, as an older father, am contributing or could be contributing to the likelihood that he's autistic, then we need to know that. Can you tell me which letters are capitals? No, both capitals. While there's no proof advanced paternal age causes autism, researchers believe that children of older dads should be screened. Give me five. There's a lot of evidence that early interventions can really improve the long-term course of people with schizophrenia or with autism-related disorders. Now we need food for the puppies. When John was diagnosed, the Kachkos enrolled him in a special program. Now he's thriving in first grade. <laughs> Older fathers are very valuable to the love and nurturing of a child. Um, some evidence shows that may offset any risk from paternal age. Good, buddy. Good. The end. So, John, is there anything older men can do before they become fathers to ensure that their children will be healthy? Well, there's no testing right now that can figure out whether or not you're going to have a defect, although researchers are working on that. But it's important to keep this all in perspective, right? For children of dads over 50, the risk of autism is only about 1 in 200, and the risk of schizophrenia is about 1 in 50. So the odds are you're going to have an okay kid. But it's important for dads to know this when they're doing their family planning. All right. John LaPook, thank you, John.